Hi, this is an update on the Lee Jujube plant that I acquired four months ago, April 18, 2018. Now it's September 12, 2018. When I had it, it was only a foot high, about this high uh, from the ground. Now it has grown another, about another two and a half feet. Um, it has grown quite a bit. It flowered a whole bunch, but did not set any fruit only one fruit set it hopefully it stays um, these guys get the size of golf ball they have to be um, brown brownish to be tasteful um, sweet and I saw I'm gonna leave this throughout the winter to um, test out the uh, the growing zone they said it could survive zone 7 which is, this plant is located in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, it's going quite, quite vigorous. And I put a whole bunch of mulch on the side so the, uh, it won't freeze up. I also have one in a pot in case this one does not survive. I have one in a pot which is right there. And also grew about three feet high and has one fruit also. So each tree has one fruit. That's my avocado, avocado plant. And my beautiful, beautiful banana plant, which grew about five sucker below the mother stem there. Sucker is the baby uh, plant that grows from the corm of the banana. The corm is like a root. So it, it grows from uh, a foot high to about at least I would say 12 to 15 feet high right now um, it has a bunch of babies and this is the, uh, the other baby that I took out from the uh, base of the mother plant that I put in the pot so I could winterize it in the, in the basement but I'm gonna leave these mother this mother plant, the banana plant, I'm going to cut down to knee height and cover it with a bunch of uh, hay, um, about four foot high and uh, three foot in diameter. Um, and hopefully it will survive through the winter. i seen a bunch of video that um, said it would uh, in zone seven, if you use that technique. Cut it down to knee height and mulch it with hay. And I also have, also have this uh, low quad which I grew from seed, I left it in the pot. So next year I will put it in the ground to test the growth on zone seven gro growth. But look at these leaves. These leaves are humongous. I have never seen a leaf that big before. It's about almost triple the size of my palm here, um, each individual leaf. I think that's due to uh, compost. And uh, I also have the um, tamarack, um, uh, tamarind uh, plant there, which I'm going to do a, a test growth for zone 7 also. I'm going to leave the, the stock of it, maybe the diameter of the stock maybe a little bigger for another year or so, then I'll put it down to update everyone. So right now I, I'm updating on the Legia Jubilee plant, which has only one fruit, and the uh, tropical tamarind plant in, in a pot and the low quad plant in the plot with, with some huge leaves on it, foliage. And also got some uh, um, papaya plant, which I got from, uh, grow from seed, and it's also grown in a pot. So I won't put this down of yet until next year, until the, uh, the stock, the stem here, get a little bigger. Um, I grew them late, about uh, about June, so it, it's kind of too late to put them down now and and test the growth for uh, for outside grow. I saw it in a bunch of video on YouTube that it can grow in um, outside with the same technique with the uh, banana. Just use the uh, straws and cover it about four feet high and about three feet in diameter and um, it would survive through the winter. These are all my uh, beautiful 
chilies. Bunch of chilies. I'm coming up, coming around to show you the Leeds Jubilee plant in the pot, which this one I'm gonna put in the basement. And it also fruited, run fruit also. It's not quite right yet. And um, it, it also grew on flower, bunch of flowers, but did not, did not hold into the fruit. Possibly next year, because it's uh, the first time it's, um, it's been growing that way. And on my um, newly acquired persimmon plant, Again, this is stone seven for persimmon plant. Persimmon grow quite slow, but this is the first year that I put them in the ground. I'm gonna use the same technique, which a uh, bunch of mulching and hay haystack to stack it on the bottom, and maybe uh, a cloth type of cloth like a like a haystack cloth. I'm gonna wrap around the the plant and see if it could survive the winter. It said it, if you use that technique in most um, YouTube video that it can. And here's another, another little look at the, the Jubei plant. Another closer look at the, the fruit itself. So I have two Jubei plant. Um, it's growing quite nice and uh, thank you for watching and uh, Hopefully I could update you by April of next year. See if they all survive or they all die. Um, and this is my turmeric, not tamarind. This is turmeric plant uh, for municipal purpose. But um, my mango did not do quite well. The squirrel seems to love it. It grew and it, it fruited. It was a grafted plant. I got it from uh, um, Logan uh, Greenhouse in Danielson, Connecticut. But uh, it grew quite uh, quite well, quite vigorous. But then the the score just decided that it wants to take revenge, revenge on me because I trapped them in the uh, score trap one time, and uh, it kind of killed that every time it grew. So. Again, my big, big, beautiful banana plant. Love the banana plant. So I'll update you on the banana and update you on the low quad and also my three tamarack plant. One, two, and three. And the uh, Lee Jujube plant with one fruit. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking it should fruit a lot next year because of this year preparation with the mulching and the feeding of um, of the plant so I got the green long bean here and a bunch of purple long, long beans here you go see the stock of the, uh, uh, the I mean the sucker the sucker the baby the baby plant you got one two three there and four this one's quite big Four, five, five here, and the mother plant diameter. It's quite, quite large. I got it when I had it. It was only about this big. Now it grows about ten times the thickness and about five times the height, about fifteen foot. All right. Thank you for watching, guys, and. Uh, I hope it helped you out with the Lee Jujube plant. And also I have the uh, black bamboo, which they say cannot survive in zone 7. Um, so the technique is, this grow green, but it'll get black after it gets about two, uh, about inch and a half in diameter. Well, it takes about two years. So it's edible. Um, so my technique is I'm going to mulch around the, the side of the bamboo plant so it will survive the first frost first year out in zone 7 um, it grow quite vigorous but uh, some other plant seems to um, overgrow it but I don't mind it keeps it moist and keeps it uh, keeps it warm 
why it's uh, in this baby stage. I think it, that's helped them. So I grew in a compost pile. I let the compost uh, um, settle down and, and dissolve to 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 um, to a uh, food stage, which is NPK, um, nitrogen, phosphorus, and um, potassium. Um, then uh, I, I put a, the uh, plant right into the compost. I knew that uh, from my past experience that it grew quite vigorous. Um, uh, the following year, you grew right on the compost or in around the compost pile. Um, no chemical at all, it's all organic, and that's just all my other uh, bitter cucumber and uh, and squash plant that hasn't fruit yet. It should fruit soon. And uh, all right, guys, um, have good, go happy gardening. This is Derek, updating from Bridgeport, Connecticut, zone seven, seven for the Leeds Jubilee plant with one fruit, one's in the ground and one's in the pot. So I'll leave one in the ground and one in the pot and see what happens. Update you guys soon by spring of next year, 2019, or maybe the fall. Bye-bye.